cell services are back up. My cell services were on the air. Are you on the emergency broadcast system now? We're on good old AT&T until uh, 30 more days. We're going to go back to the public. This morning, let's have the roll call, please. Brady? Brewster? Here. Dale? Here. Drescher? Here. Eskelton? Here. Henderson? LaBelle? Present. Muller? Here. Schaffner? Here. Ignorati? Here. Okay. And I guess I should have called the meeting to order, but that was pretty much a foregone conclusion when I took the roll call. So just wanted to see if you were with us this morning. I, I don't know if I am or not. Let's, uh, I'm looking for the flag here. Right now. Let's uh, stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance. Well, we have a, a special meeting today. We need to approve the minutes of the May 4th the meeting as they're presented or as amended. Motion made. Second? Second. Second by Vince. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carried. Item number one, discussion direction regarding the maintenance plan and budget. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, members of the commission, and Roman Services Director. Uh, as you recall, at the last meeting, we talked a little bit about the maintenance issues relative to all the county parks and some of the concerns that staff had and has relative to, uh, in particular, say, equipment and or manpower uh, to maintain these parks, especially once we approve them as we are doing on Sunday. Uh, we had also advised you at that meeting, at your last meeting, excuse me, and the reason you're having this special meeting today, that the county's budget process would start sometime in early part of June, which we now understand will be around June 9th, I believe it is, which is in advance of your next regularly scheduled meeting. And so we said we'd have a special meeting to talk a little bit about your input, direction, and possible support to county staff uh, on the budget for uh, the Parks and Recreation uh, Department's operations. And to that end, in your package, under item number one, you should find a draft, uh, or a memo rather, of a draft budget that Bill Renee's office, Public Works, has put together. And I, I don't see Bill. Is he supposed to be called over and they said he was on his way, but... That was probably the problem you called. You know, the phone worked. It did. Internally, it turned out. Yeah, we were able to call each other, but nobody outside, so... Of course, nobody comes to work at 6 o'clock, so it was few us eyeballs, so not too many people to call anybody. Nobody answered. But no, I just, uh, Diane, would you call 4462 one more time and see if he's actually on his way? Please. Um, we can kind of start looking through it as, as your uh, board discussion the last time was, uh, if you recall, we kind of talked specifically about, for example, not having a mower, or I should say not having a decent more at Sunbeam, for example. And by the way, there is a ranger from the park in the back there. Nice. And uh, he has been very helpful to us when we've been out there working, and he's familiar with the equipment that, that they have or the lack thereof. So, uh, you know, if I'm speaking out of turn, I'm sure you can correct me. Uh, but we did talk about, for example, not having a decent mower out there, and in your budget proposal, uh, you will see the Public Works has included uh, 18000 for a more, and I'm not sure what kind or what type, but I'm assuming anything is better than we have, so 18000 ought to buy us something. Although, when I started looking on the internet the other day for tractors of the size that I was thinking of, it was looking more like 30000 Thank you. And then, of course, they have uh, the whole whole uh, list of things there on page number one in the memo as to the types of materials, for example, fertilizer and seed and so on and so forth, uh, which when you consider the big ticket item, of course, like always, is manpower, in which case the staffing, which is a little less than half here. But when you when you say a, a little less than half here, there's well the total budget that he's projecting is 161 right. thousand, and you've got 105 thousand in just staffing. Right. Okay. Uh, 
and then you've got various uh, pieces of equipment. We are uh, we are attempting to, and probably will be getting. Uh, I think I mentioned this before. A couple of those little electric uh, truck things, like the one I drive around, uh, for the park. Uh, the Air Pollution Control Office has uh, put in a request to purchase the number of them. Two of them would be dedicated to the park there at Sunbeam. So that would be a sort of a runaround vehicle for the rangers to use rather than using, say, the blazers or something like that. That would be. They would be located right on the park. They would be there, and they would be at no cost to them. So those, those are something that we can get. Uh, I won't say we can get them free, but we. we uh, air pollution funds for those, so that could be the, and Brad Morris, the director of APCD, has agreed that uh, two of them could be used for the park out there, uh, but possibly another one for another park, but, uh, you know, those would be just sort of running around little small utility type electric cars, and then, uh, but there's still a list of equipment, obviously, uh, not the least of which is a mower and a truck, and, and various sundry things. Those units, uh, obviously, are going to be draw, uh, driven on the, uh, Highway, their street legal. Would they, would they be efficient at all if they had to come from the park into town, say at Sunday? Uh, no, because their maximum speed is 25. Yeah. I mean, they'll get you here, but uh, let's see. That's probably out and back, and that takes a recharge. Really? Yeah. They. I mean, around town they're great. I, like I said, I can drive mine for about two weeks without recharging it. Mm -hmm. uh, but then, you know, it's, it's limited to basically 25 mile an hour. Governor, uh, get a long extension. We can figure out how to override that governor, which <laughs> but they're handy for you know for those kinds of uses like around the park would be perfect because they can go on them. Actually, they have a little switch on them that's for turf, so you can actually use them on a golf course. So you don't spin the wheels when you take off. What exactly is our goal with this memo this morning? The goal for your meeting was to take a look at what kind of a budget we should be considering, or that the Board of Supervisors should ultimately. Now they work. Huh? Sorry about that. I had turned it off. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, hey, I like your. It didn't work, and now you can't turn them off. <laughs> Try again. Uh, the goal of this meeting was basically to get your input and direction uh, relative to the type of budget that you, as the commission, feel we should be looking at for maintenance of county parks. And uh, as you recall, Mr. Bernay, when he was here the last time, basically said they hadn't really budgeted uh, for a lot of things. I, I felt them back then. <laughs> but uh, we felt your presence. Yeah. Morning, so, Bill, we started just kind of looking at your budget, but uh, if you want to come up and kind of explain or, or answer their questions. That aura that was around you this morning. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this budget here is an attempt of projection to, to see what it would actually do to maintain the park. I sat down with Mr. Solis and we went through this for doing the ground maintenance and uh, um, the buildings. Uh, and as it's shown here, we, we, need, we need extra help. We would not long term. We need additional help. Um, we would need two people for the grounds to upkeep and then another person for the buildings. I think the way it went. Yes. And, uh, so this, right now we do not have staff to uh, do any of the work and that is with our facilities maintenance. When you when you say here you've got three staff listed, just so we can clarify that at least for myself, I don't know if anybody else is wondering that. Those are already filled positions. No, no, no. Well, well, our staff that we have, that we would have to augment the staff because the, well, the, the staff current staff could not handle this. So you need additionally three. Yes. Okay. And this is and the things that we would need with them. Uh, we figured that uh, to, to do this. Bill, you, you right now when you say the staff you have, you right now basically have just rangers, right? Well, the rangers out there. Correct. I'm talking about facilities maintenance. Right, but I mean right now you don't really have facilities maintenance people assigned to the parks per se. Correct. We need so we have the rangers. Right. So the people you're actually using to do some of the maintenance is the rangers. <coughs> yeah. The, 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 the question was is that. That they wanted the rangers to do more. The question of statement was they want rangers to do rangers' work, mm -hmm. not go around doing maintenance work. Well, no, they all of it anyway. That's all of it. So they wanted us to take a look at what it would cost if we transferred the maintenance over to facilities. Mm -hmm. 